all of us, and not just those in this room, but uh, all those who are interested in Islam, the true teaching of Islam, look forward to your book Thank you, on Tetula Bulim. You know, there was a question about uh, Mahatma Gandhi and uh, Fethullah Gulen. I must point out that there is one, there's one point where we see a very strong resonance between the thoughts of Mahatma Gandhi and the thinking of Fethullah Gulen. And that is the importance of the individual that all change must begin from the individual. Fethullah Gulen says he exhorts Muslims to strive for self-improvement through an ethical orientation of life. And I'm quoting here now, those who want to reform the world must first reform themselves. What Gandhiji says, be the change you wish to see in the world. The same Fethullah Gulen is saying, those who want to reform the world must first reform themselves. In order to bring others to the path of traveling to a better world, they must purify their inner worlds of hatred, rancor and jealousy and adorn their outer worlds with all kinds of virtues. This focus on the individual is again at the at the very basis of his philosophy of education. Fethullah Gulen says, I have always believed that education is the best way to nurture individuals and build a solid foundation for a society. Every social problem starts with the individual and can be solved for the long term at the, at the level of the individual. It can be solved at the long term, at the level of the individual. Systemic, institutional or policy level solutions are destined for failure if the individual is neglected. Therefore, my first and foremost advocacy is for education of the individual. You know, profound thoughts. Friends, I would like to close, uh, you know, today's discussion by just sharing one more thought that uh, is very profound, very insightful, inspiring. And here he is expressing his own dream of new Turkey, the Turkey of, of the future. He says, it is painful, it is a painful spring that we live in. A nation is being born again. A nation is being born again. A nation of millions is being born. One that will live for long centuries, God willing. It is being born with its own culture, its own civilization. You know, in, in this way, Turkey, this whole conflict between secularism and Gulay's Islam-inspired revival, it is the birth of a new nation based on its own culture, its own civilization. If giving birth to a person is so painful, if giving birth to a person is so painful, the birth of millions cannot be pain-free. Naturally, we will suffer pain. It won't be easy for a nation that has accepted athe atheism has accepted materialism, a nation accustomed to running away from itself, to come back riding on its horse. How beautifully stated. It won't be easy for a nation that has accepted atheism, that has accepted materialism, a nation accustomed to running away from itself, to come back riding on its horse. It will not be easy, but it is worth all our suffering and all our sacrifices. So, to our friends from Turkey, the followers of Fethullah Gulen, we wish you all the best. There's a lot that we in India can learn because we cannot 
run away from our own culture, our own civilization, our own spiritual heritage and think of creating a new India. You know, with borrowed thoughts. No. We have to be rerouted in our culture. But again, as, as Professor said, not going back to the future, but applying the wisdom of the past, not going back to the past, but applying the wisdom of the past to address today's problems, tomorrow's problems. That is the way that India has to grow. That is the way that Turkey, another great civilization, has to find itself. We wish you all the best and we look forward to more such functions, more such activities that we can do together to bring India and Turkey closer. Thank you very much. Thank you.